Good morning, guys. In today's episode, we're gonna learn how to catch these trout past the early ice when the bite gets tough. So stay tuned and find out some tips and tricks I have when the bite gets tough. See you guys out there. do is I'm starting here at 15 feet and I'm just gonna drill until I get to about eight so the ice is never safe as you all know so always check but uh, it's 10 inches if anyone's wondering <laughs> it takes a while to get through which is nice and we're gonna do my normal horseshoe around the lake because that always works for me. The lake is covered with the snow. The lake is covered with snow today, so it means that the sunlight is not really impacting, you know, whether the, they're gonna stop biting shallow or deep, but they are gonna be a lot tougher to uh, entice the bite. Beautiful day out here. The wind is uh, probably about a one, two mile an hour maybe. We're in about 10 feet of water here. Um, the guys are spread out uh, between 10 to 15, 16 feet of water. Tyler is catching them at about six feet of water. I'm in a bit shallow, we're in about nine. And there's uh, a lot of weeds eventually. So I'm at the weed line right where it kind of stops. This is where I'm hoping the trout will come around or pike and uh, ambush the, the food where the trout will feed on shrimp while maybe the uh, pike will feed on the trout. So kind of put myself in a perfect area. Switch up your presentations too. If you come out another time and the bite is not going well for, let's say the color pink, switch to red or chartreuse. It's always nice to present something different than new to these fish. The bite can get uh, finicky sometimes. Um, so try not to jig it too much when these fish are not being very aggressive. If you kind of leave it that stick and barely jig it subtly, that may trigger and entice them to bite better because when they're finicky they don't want to take the slightest little bump if you're moving all right guys i've moved over here me and paul uh sitting directly across from one another uh he's been marking them suspended somewhat when he caught a uh, first few last one i caught he was about seven feet off the bottom reeled up to him and he just boom and then he nailed it right on they're not being as aggressive no they're not it's like micro itty bitty bites not like last week at all yeah, so I mean, you kind of got to adjust and move around to the bite. So this time we started in deeper water sooner. So if it's past 8 a.m., 8.30, probably best to move to deep. I hit it. Got it. Paul got it. This the hook set. He was up higher and I, and I reeled up to him. Yeah, so today is a finicky bite, guys. He's having to kind of slowly bring it up. Yeah, it sure is. I will swipe at it for you. Are you keeping this one as well? Yeah, I'll keep this one and then I'm done for keeping them. Look at that, guys. There's the fish. We can see him. Yeah, that is a nice one. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'll keep it. And I'll just let go of that. There you go. We're going to harvest some today, folks. Yeah. No, I thought I did. Oh, I got Nicole Stone. Uh huh. And Answer a question on our show. Uh oh, I got one on me. Oh, I got him. Did you see how little bite that was? Barely moved that little bobber. I put eight pound on all of my royals. He likes to horse them. No, can't really horse them. They're too big. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Sure, you don't need. <laughs> Look, Paul is going to help you. It's okay. Just uh, have faith. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a fat fish, guys. Look at that. We're gonna go check his fish out. Paul. Really nice and easy. Yeah. All right, guys, today's special is actually this slender spoon with a chartreuse green strip. The action these spoons have when they are falling is like kind of like a flutter effect. And to entice the extra bite, I've been actually putting on two wax worms. I am putting uh, two baxies here, just kind of letting it dangle as I jig it. 
uh, but the slender spoon is really bringing the enticing the bite because they kind of stopped on the pink spoon all right guys only in Colorado do you get the sun out like that and the heavy snow huh Paul how about this There's one on me. The there you go got him on the on the vibrato let's see if I can get this one. Oh, we got off again how do you lose fish with you oh are you sure you had a fish and wasn't you lure <laughs> I always like to give him crap guys Yep, we got one. Right. See, like I told you, Jackson, they're just getting lucky. That's what it's all about. It's a fighter. Yep, it is good. Especially for up here. All right, Jackson, you want to help me swat him out? Put, just gotta put your push it out. There you go. Thank you. I'm sorry, bud. And a toe bag. No, this is 16, 17 inches. Yeah. It's really fat. That's a 19 inch or huge. Alright guys. Oh, you're kidding. It's 18. Yep. I'll let him go. Probably gonna lose him. <laughs> yep. He wrapped around the transducer. I don't think so. Let's see, guys, do a quick measurement on this bad boy. It's only 17, dude. 17 incher. Wow, I thought for sure he was bigger. Bigger ones last week. All right, another bite on here. Come on, Paul, get him. Look, Tyler, without telling us again, guys, got on one. What are you using on that, Tyler? Told you. Broad bender, these tickle sticks bend more than they should. <laughs> oh, there it is, there it is. That's a almost got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, got him. All right, all right, Paul. All right. I just switched up, guys. I put a marabou. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Oh, yeah. That's All right, Paul, let's bring you that one in. I think I might have a Manitoba master, people. He got a crawdad over there. Did you really? Got one on me, too. What the? F take, take it. Got him. Got him, gents. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Get down there. Get down there. Did he go back to you after me? <laughs> oh man, the bite is picking up. That fish hit me and then went to him. Oh. Look at that. That's a big one. Look at all that meat in that claw. Wow. Okay, I'm Set the hook, if he's on there still. Lift it up a little bit, see if there's a fish on there. Got him, yeah you do. You keep focusing on that, I'll help you land it man. And let him run if he wants to. Good job. Well, he's right here. Bring him up a little more. Fuck it. Fuck it's okay. Nice fat fish, Jackson. Look at that, dude. That is the shortest, fattest fish I've ever seen, man. Oh my gosh. I think this is under 16. Oh, look at that tube. That tube is doing a trick, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Told you. Dead sticking. Yeah, wow. Can I get that ruler? Let's verify. I think this is a 14 incher, man. I hope so. Nope, he's 15. Tyler, fish on you, Tyler. catch up to that ice. That's a fat fish, man. Lift him up a little higher and I'll swat him. Don't let it flop around too much. Look at that fish, guys. Beautiful. Fat fish. They're eating shrimp all day. All day long. 
Oh. That wind comes out of nowhere, dude. Damn that wind chill. All right, that wind is picking up, guys. We're gonna catch a couple more fish and get out of here. back let's see who catches one. Oh, did it you missed it tyler yeah. were you high here we go it's on me it's on me but it, it oh it's on me hit me twice got him got him stay on stay pin stay pin stay pin let's finish the day off let's finish the day off with success stay pin stay pin i just lost him at the hole no i didn't hold on I got him, Jackson. I got him. All right, look at that. Oh, I lost him at the hole. Look at that. Wow. Fat fish, guys. That's the last one of the day.